There is no moment in a person's life more blessed than the one in which they find themselves completely weakened, disbelieving in their own strength because they have exerted every effort within their power and yet achieved nothing. It is precisely at this moment, in such a state, that one is ready for true, earnest prayer, a prayer of supplication to the Creator. For they know with absolute certainty that their efforts, however great, will bear no fruit. Yet as long as one feels any strength within, believes they have not done everything possible to achieve their goal, their prayer for salvation to the Creator cannot be whole and complete, the only type to which the Creator responds. The evil within man precedes him, telling him that he must first exert all possible efforts before he can be worthy of reaching the Creator. Therefore, it is said, Great is the Creator, but only the humbled shall see Him. For after a person has exerted effort in all manner of works to reach the Creator and becomes disillusioned with them all, they reach a truly humbled state, feeling the lowest of all creations, having nothing that could aid them. Only then is their prayer true and perfect, immediately receiving the Creator's response. This is reflected in the cry of the Israelites to the Creator from the burden of their labor. Having reached a state of complete despair from their efforts and full certainty that nothing could aid them, akin to bailing water with a perforated bucket, the more they labored, the greater their despair grew. Likewise, those who strive to reach the Creator find that all their previous efforts to improve their spiritual state, to draw closer to the Creator, to purify themselves, all that was done yesterday seems lost today. And again, each day and each moment must begin anew as if no work had been done the day before. Thus, it is said, and the children of Israel cried out to the Creator from their hard labor. For they clearly saw that they were utterly incapable of anything spiritual arising from their work. Therefore, their plea to the Creator was full from the depths of the heart, and they immediately received an answer, for only such a prayer does the Creator respond to. From this, it is evident that all that can be comprehended, be it small or great, is only through the power of prayer. And all the work we must do is necessary only to reveal the insignificance of our own strength and how incapable and unworthy we are by our abilities and efforts. But it is then that we are capable and worthy of offering a true prayer before the Creator. There is no way around this condition. I cannot initially decide that I am unworthy and incapable of accomplishing anything and therefore already prepared to call upon the Creator, for the effort and work to understand our own worthlessness are indispensable. For the law of nature dictates there is no wiser than the experienced. And before a person, through their own experience, convinces themselves in everything they are capable of applying themselves to, that they are insignificant, they cannot come to a true sense of their own insignificance and powerlessness. Therefore, we must exert all our own efforts in spiritual work to achieve the intention for the sake of the Creator, as it is said. Whatever is within your power to do, do it. I write this to you so that you do not lose hope or become disillusioned with the Creator's mercy. And although you will see nothing in advance at the moment when you have fully filled your cup with the efforts required of you, then the time for prayer arrives. Until that moment, believe in what the wise have said, that it is impossible to find spiritual revelation without effort. When their measure is full and your prayer is complete, the Creator will respond with all generosity as the wise promise. Believe that you have exerted effort and you will find. For until then, you are not capable of such a prayer that will be heard by the Creator. May our prayers be heard and find a response from the Creator.